Hello everyone, today I'm going to be actually uh, replacing my meters. I scratched one of my um, reflector meters on my CO2 laser. And when I scratched the meter actually, it wasn't something to do with the mirror. It was just my fault. The way I was cleaning, I was tore off with it. So I'm going to replace them with these mirrors I found on Amazon. Uh, I found these from a seller called Mazoom. Optical, I believe that's the name of I'm spelling it. I'm saying it right. They do have a lot of actually uh, equipments and parts for CO2, which is you guys can check them out if you want. But they have them on sale right now. These special meters are found. So usually the malignum, malignum something they call them, is the one that I've been seeing online. Good one, but this seller here have a different type that I haven't seen online. And I was doing some research on it, which is, I've been, everybody was telling, and the research showing is good. It's the uh, CU, basically, uh, it's copper gold plated. Uh, you could see the rating on them. Everything is almost like, almost five star on this particular type of lens compared to the molybdenum and the actual K9. You know, the K9 is the lowest quality one. Then they got the molybdenum is a little bit better. This one even rated the one I'm pretty got is basically is the copper one is even rated for above 200 watt basically, which is four st five star on it. The main reason I picked this one too is the moisture lover. I am in a colder area, so this is supposed to be better for moisture and actually for power and heat. So here's how they look like. They are gold plated again. They have them on sale right now, sixty-six dollars. But I guess you can save five more dollars if you apply a coupon. Uh, again, Masum Optical. Uh, check them out. See how they look like. Uh, I will do the actual installation. I'm gonna do the unboxing of the video right now. So here is the video. I mean the box. It comes in in a typical, basically, uh, lens box. Which is kind of good because I can store my old ones. Of course, one of them is a little bit damaged, but I can keep the other two at least, just in case if something happened. Uh, they are supposed to be very reflector, and let's see how they are. The most thing is just moisture. I like the moisture. I got to clean them. I was touching on my hand earlier, but let me just maybe blow on it with some heat to see if how reflected they are. I'm trying to see if I can... Moisture wise, yeah, it will not show because I have a flashlight on, but it seems like very good on moisture. Yeah, the moisture is going away right away from my breath, at least. Uh, they are copper, all the way copper plate, and they again gold plated about three millimeter. I want to say the copper plate is. Let's just open them all. Let's see. Um, I have a Harley Davidson. Uh, Basically, logo on my desktop, so I'm gonna see how it's gonna reflect out of the just. Yep, it's not bad of a reflection from my computer desktop. I can maybe focus that particular area because my camera is not focused. You can see they're very reflective actually. They are a little bit goldish again. That's where. Probably that's why they're strong, because it's got kind of gold uh, plating on it. Again, I don't have all the information on it 100%. I was Googling, and um, these were supposed to be the highest, you know, temperature holding. I only have 50 watt machine, so even the cheap one should have been working fine. But I said, why not? Let's get something good, you know just to enhance their performance. We will go and show you guys right now how to install them. I'm gonna take the old one out and put this one in. And maybe I can show you a comparison between my old one and this guy here, the reflection on it or you know, just how cleanliness it is. I was having a hard time cleaning the other one for some reason. Maybe I used the wrong chemical or something, but I will make sure I will not use the wrong chemical on this one here. Uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, Again, they are from Amazon. Uh, check out the sellers, or you know, you can charge them up. They're, I think, from uh, Masoom Optical, and uh, they're about $66, plus they have some sales, I think $5 or something. 
So if you need any mirrors or something, I recommend those one. Read the bottom, you'll see these are so far the top one they have available. Unless there's something maybe more expensive I don't know about, but I know these are so far the good ones. So let's go ahead and do the, uh, take the other old one out and install this one. Bear with me and I'll take you to the machine right now. So now we're going to get to our machine and the mirrors are located one here one here and one in the back of the machine so they are a 25 millimeter mirror so I'm wearing gloves that way so when I touch the new mirrors I don't want to have any residue or fingerprint but I will still clean the mirrors I hope you guys can hear me with the fan noise background but what we're gonna do first so you don't touch none of these. To change the mirrors, you're not going to touch any of those because this will actually affect the alignment. What we're going to open, we're going to open this guy here, okay? This is the Omtec 50 Walled Engraver Machine. So again, this is, I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. So let me hook up my camera, get it lined up and show you how to do this, okay? First, I will move this guy all the way to this area here. Maybe bring it up manually just to be close to me and I can work on it okay and give me a minute so here's the setup that we're gonna be working on and you may get a better flash lighting so basically I'm using this tool that you can just close open usually it's for washers that you cram so I'm just gonna put it here these two holes in the back of the lens now this is aluminum or copper, so you're not scratching the lens if you're touching it from here. But just be careful, you know. So you're just gonna give it a turn, it will should turn. Mine were not that tight because I had cleaned them. I opened it before I ordered my, you know, my laser. So I can know what size it was the mirror. Always double check your size before you order because there is multiple sizes. So you're gonna keep turning and this should come out. I actually have a napkin on the bottom, so there is basically this is just a washer that's gonna hold uh, aluminum or copper back in the meter. And then there's two holes, of course, you, that's how you're gonna open it. With my finger, I'm gonna push this guy up and it shit comes out. And you can see it's not that clean, and I was having a hard time cleaning them, and they always get this round around them. So we're going to compare them to the actual new ones that I have, they are actually here, okay, so we're going to, I'm going to clean these guys just to show you, to be a fair comparison, and clean both of them, I have actually a lens cleaner, this is an old lens cleaner actually, but let's see if it still have lifetime on it. Yeah, it does. So just rubbing them basically, and you can see I still cannot get the side. Maybe if I rub them too hard or something, I can get it to clean up. Maybe a little alcohol. Hey, I'll get cleaned up. Okay. So we're gonna put these here on the side. We're gonna go ahead, I'll clean it before I store them again. We're gonna go to this one here, open them, and insert them. Before I do that, I'm just gonna clean around the actual hole. Uh, just clean around the hole, make sure there's no oil or debris or anything. Uh, what I will use, I will use just a 91% rubber alcohol and like a towel, paper towel or something. So let me go ahead and pause the video and get the stuff in and show you guys. If you have a laser machine, I recommend you to get the 91% lemon alcohol. Big bottles, like $2, $3, depends where you get it from. It's always good to clean up all your mess, all your you know, lenses and stuff like that. So here. Now it's not that much dirt in there. But be careful, don't over force stuff, don't over move stuff because these are the alignment of your lens. You do not want to be untying them or something like that. So now we're going to open that lens. Earlier I was showing you guys. And you can see 
and it's very clean. I'm not gonna wipe it or something. Maybe I can wipe it with a, a glass cleaner. Just a little bit. Just make sure. You can see it dries out very fast. Okay, so. Dry up and it dries up. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy. Be careful when you put it in, and you can see it fits in perfect. Then we're gonna answer this guy. I'm gonna clean this guy too. Might have some little little book, you know, something on it, but or just oil, dirt, don't matter. It's made out of aluminum. Coated aluminum, actually. The coat is black. And just be careful, easy with it, and then. With my big fingers, fat fingers, and there you go. I'm just gonna give it a tie. You don't have to over over tie, but tie it to make sure it's not gonna turn or get loose on you. Okay? Don't hurtfully tie it. Just tie it. And my my tools usually bend before even I can tie it. So this is kind of good uh, a little trick I do use for sometimes tying stuff like that just in case if you really want to see if this guy is moving or something you could put a small like a line of paint something like this just in the future if something went off aligning or something you want to see so you can see even uh, on the gears you know you do the same thing just put just in case if you want to see if something is moving or something going crazy, it's a good idea to mark the stuff. Okay, so if you get in a crash or something on your machine, you want to make sure nothing got loose or something, you know, mark it. So you can see if this guy's turning loose before you go ahead and start scratching your head. Just check the stuff you marked and you can see if something got loose or not. Okay, so let me bear with me. I'm going to change all the other ones uh, one by one. I'm going to show you guys how we change them too. And then we'll go from there. Okay. Next one we're gonna change is actually this guy here. It's a little bit tricky because we're gonna have to get in the back, but the good thing we have a door, so we're gonna open that door and try to get in from the back and change it. Okay, so let's go. We're gonna go in the back here, we're gonna try and open this door. This side doors, which is on the left hand side of the machine. If you're looking at it from the front, and I have these, I don't use a lock anymore. I have these I had developed. And for the laser, you can see my video. I share the file with you guys. Basically, simple idea. Okay, so we're gonna go right now from the back of the machine, which is we're gonna open this guy over here. So we're gonna open this guy and remove the lens and put it back in there. So let me put the camera somewhere so you guys can see what I'm doing, and we'll go from there. It is a little bit tricky to get in there. We're gonna get in from side. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, because I don't have room to actually get in there and try to open this. So I'm gonna open this tool. My tool actually disconnects. So I'm gonna open it. I'm just gonna use this end of the tool. Okay. Basically, I'm going to be using just this head without the actual whole thing. And I'm going to use it by hand and try to open it by hand. Of course, with my fat finger, and I'm trying to show you guys how to do it on a video. It's kind of a little bit hard, but I'll try my best to not mess this up. One here and one here. Okay, so that's how we have it right now. And we're gonna just gonna give it a twist, and then it opens up. And then after it opens up, you can just move it with your finger to get it loosened. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to turn it. Trying not to be in the way 
me show you guys that I'm opening it. And that opens up. I'm going to take this piece that fell down, which is the same thing. So you can see it. Okay, but you can screw. Put it down here for a minute. Then from the back here, basically the front, I'm going to push the meter. It should fall off. And we'll pick it up. And that is the second meter. It's a little bit better condition than the first one. But it is. We're out. We're going to grab one more meter from the copper ones. The gold meters. I'm going to give it a little wipe. The same thing that we did earlier. The glass cleaner. And these are the new one. Okay. And we're going to put it from not here. We're going to go this direction. Copper always going to be in the back. So we're going to be careful. I will have to clean this guy. Just give me a minute. Let me clean it up. Somehow I push the phone. So it's a good time to wipe this guy good. Okay, check everything, nothing is moving. Crazy. Clean this guy. And then we'll put that copper meter. If I double check, nothing moving. No, the whole thing is moving. So, so nothing is moving basically. Be careful not touching the meter from the front. I'm gonna answer this guy like this. So the copper is gonna be in the back. And we're gonna put this back in there and lock it. I use that same piece earlier I used to tie the to tie with. Sorry guys, I gotta put my hand in the way because I cannot see nothing with no lights in there. Camera's in the way. Trying to eyeball it. And it's not working. I gotta see where I am. Oh, way off. Okay. Now we're just gonna tie it. Good enough okay that's tight now we're gonna take the actually so now so far we change this guy and we change this guy here so we're gonna go ahead and change the back one just gonna open the back and change the back one okay so just give you another look they look like before we go to the back before I change the last one actually what I did I took this one and clean it as much as I can, okay, with the lens cleaner and rub alcohol. And this is the best look I can get basically out of it. And I'm gonna compare it to the copper one that I actually have that we just purchased. Got a new one. These are the one. This is not hundred percent clean yet, but just to show you guys the difference between both of them, okay. This one it is. I'm gonna put my finger between them so just for example so you guys can show you guys. Okay. They're both very good reflecting on them. Not bad. But the different I see with the copper one, the gold plated in this guy. For example, if there is a little bit of uh, moisture or something, this guy it is cleaning faster than this guy. Okay. Probably because this guy has been used a lot, that's why. So we'll put this guy to test and we'll see after a couple months how this guy will look, how this guy will act. But so far, seems just by nothing, this guy is a little bit better than this. I can't judge. I don't have, I cannot calculate numbers or show you something just by look, okay? So we'll go ahead and take that one, clean it up a little bit 
and we're gonna go to the back one and install it in the back show you guys so here's the back of the machine same thing you're gonna have to open the laser head from the back mine I don't use the key like I told you guys I have this guy here so I'm gonna open this guy I recommend you guys removing this case so it would not be in your way and actually the lens is gonna be here from the back you're gonna open it and replace the lens very easy process okay we're gonna open it from here open it and take the lens out and put the new lens in this way and then tie it okay give me a minute let me take this door apart and show you what I'm talking about opening the door again yeah, unlock these two here and there is actually a notch in here like a lock not door lock notch or you're gonna cause that's what they call it so we're gonna take it basically is this guy here I'm gonna pull back and forth and the whole door removes just be careful placing it on the floor and this is the lens I'm gonna zoom into this guy and show you what we're gonna do okay so we're gonna use that same tool I was told you earlier and open it place it here one here and one over here we're gonna unlock it by twisting and then just you know take it apart it comes out put the cover on top here we're just gonna push it from this direction push the mirror out okay is that the mirror this is the one that was a little bit scratched up when I cleaned it but it's okay here's our new mirror try always to when you hold the mirror hold it from the side and from the copper side much as you can so you will not scratch anything let me clean this guy give me a minute before I answer the new mirror grab that napkin Sorry guys, I'm trying to go, trying to clean stuff and not go in the way of the camera at the same time. Okay, now we're good. And then we're going to answer the copper. Mirror always facing inside because the laser is going to hit the mirror. And sit like this. And then we're going to answer, wipe it and answer. The two holes always stay outside so you can tie them with. One side will have the two holes, the other side will not have the two holes to tie the part with. Test this guy. Tying it. I'm going to use this guy here to insert here, in here, and tie it by hand. Again, you don't need a lot of force, it's long. You know it's tight and it's not gonna move anymore that's it because we touch everything and always check make sure nothing is loose your lens you know your tube because you open everything check everything make sure everything is okay and what we're gonna do right now we're gonna do actually test the alignment of everything because we open the mirror and stuff like that I'm gonna show you how to adjust the alignment if it needs to be adjusted from a tube or from anywhere else okay so we'll put a piece of tape and we do we'll just fire and see how the alignment worker and all the tools okay give me a minute let me set up the camera at a different angle and we'll go from there so now here's a better angle when we're gonna put we're gonna put a tape in here so just get up those masking tape blue one or white one or the one even came in with the machine will work fine so you're gonna put this guy here Align it as much as we can. Let me get a better focus for you guys. The area. Okay, so what we're gonna do, again, we're gonna go in the front of the machine and hit a pause to shoot a small hole of fire in here. Always when you do this, please wear safety glasses. There is a safety glasses for CO2 lasers. They are rated 1006, I think. I'll have the description in the, in the bottom of those special safety glasses for CO2 lasers, okay? Always work safe. 
so you will not burn your eyes. With CO2, you cannot see the laser, so don't think you're protected through the actual glass of uh, the machine or just by, because you're not seeing it. Always wear safety glasses and special rated safety glasses. So let's go ahead. We're gonna hit right now, pause. We're gonna have to close the door and hit pause. See if there's a fire. It did not fire. I gotta turn. You gotta turn the laser on. Well, so before you turn the laser, of course, you got to make sure your chiller is on, and you're gonna hit pause. So, as you can see, we did a burn. Good thing is, it's dead center where the laser is. I show you guys, give you a closer look. And actually, it is dead center so I don't have to touch this guy if you end up one day have to touch this guy this adjustment on here where the tube go this direction there is two bolts here two bolts here you're gonna have to open this guy and then move this guy the direction you want to angle it here and here just be careful every time you touch this guy you might end up breaking the glass so be careful when you open it before, before be careful when you tie it these are the adjustment to move it this way and there's two here always if you do that you're gonna have to open these two and these two so when you move you won't put pressure and break the glass you want to move both of them at least leave this guy loose so when you move you will not be rubbing against this guy and fighting the glass this plastic which is the plastic gonna win the glass is gonna break okay so we know we're good here so what we're gonna do again we're center we're gonna go inside so this will reflect this way and it's gonna go this direction so we're gonna check the inside one and if it is bad we're gonna come back and adjust it from these two here because this is the mirror that gonna go this way up and down this one here is showing you this guy is aligned to the center of this guy okay Let's go in the front and show, we'll look at it, we'll fire. Here you look at the front. Now when you're doing that, make sure to remove everything that from the bed, because now we're gonna be start moving stuff. I had a napkin here, I didn't care about it honestly, because I had both the Z axis all the way this direction, and the Y axis, I mean, Z all the way down, in Y this direction, so I know I was not hitting anything, but now we're gonna remove all our mess from here, so in case we start moving this guy, will not have fire something burned especially napkins papers cardboard is very flammable not as at least flammable as the wood okay so uh, what I like to do first leave it as it is and I will shoot a fire to the closest point and then I'll change that and go all the way to this point the farthest point and shoot a pulse to see if my alignment straight or this direction that direction will go from there okay so let me set up the camera and do the same thing over again piece of tape is gonna sit on this back end over here basically behind this piece and we're gonna shoot the poles I will have to trick the sensor because I have to close the door and I cannot close the door because I'm recording I'm wearing safety glasses, so I'm not worrying about it, and I'm not looking at the uh, at the lens anyway. So we're gonna show a pause first. You can see, and just looking at it, it looks very centered to me. The first towards maybe at this low, but we will judge when I move it far away. Okay, so I'm gonna just jog it, and then I'm gonna look at it. I'll actually, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna have you guys look at it at the same time okay so we'll bring the actual phone with us and we're gonna look at it and see how it is to me it looks very center but can you judge yep it's actually decent in the center so what, what I'll do I'll, I'll keep the same one and I'm gonna show a pause in the same direction 
I adjust the camera. I'm, I don't have to change that paper because I'm going to see if the burn move, then I'll change it. I'm going to hit pause. It's pause, not pause. It's just the button for fire. I'll show you guys the button where is it at. So I'm going to bypass that sensor again and just click. And I can see it a little bit move to the right. Okay. But just you can see is oval instead of a what circle. We can move this paper here and shoot another paper. Another fold, basically a laser hit. Let's see it. Yeah, it is actually down in this direction. So maybe we can go back and adjust it to go here up and here this direction. Okay? So we gotta be careful. So let's go in the back and see what we gotta adjust. So you go in the back, what we're gonna do, we're gonna unloose this bolt here, the nut, and unloose this nut here. Okay, and then we're gonna make our adjustment if we gotta go this way or that way. Just looking at it from the back and looking at it to the front, my pulse, it was towards this way and a little bit down. I wanted to go up in this way. Sometimes with this guy here, you can make that adjustment because if I back this guy up, I'm actually twisting my mirror this direction. So my actual pulse is going to go hit this way. Now, because this guy is in the top, so if I loosen it a little bit, I might lift that lens a little bit down this way, backing it up this way, so I might actually lift that pointing a little bit. You don't need a lot, you just need a little bit. So we're just going to try this one first, see how it works. We might get lucky at the first try. Okay, first you're going to have to unloose this guy. Okay. Okay, and then while you're losing it, we're going to turn this guy just a hair because remember your my issue is it's all the way at that end all the way at the end so I did not want to make a lot of adjustment just a hair I'm gonna adjust it okay so now we're gonna tie this guy just a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and shoot a pause to see the difference that we made over there in the front I'm gonna leave my old actual uh, paper in there just to see if I'm moving, okay, that's always a good thing to do. Do not replace the tape, if, especially if you're making a movement. You want to see what direction you're going. And let's see, let's hit a pause and see how we're gonna see. You can see I actually centered it, okay. First try, I got it to the center, okay. So we'll change the tape. I'm gonna go in the back, tie it. Now we'll change the tape and hit another pause again. Now I do want to apologize. I keep saying pause, but it's pause, okay? And I will show you what button I'm talking about. My English is perfect. So we're going to try and hold this guy and tying this guy, not moving this guy. Tie them all. Make sure they're all tied. I had opened this one by mistake. I didn't mess with it. I think I moved it a little bit. That's why it's a good thing to put your finger here while you're tying this guy. So if this guy moves, you know it will not go off alignment. Okay, keep moving it here. It helps if I use the right tool, which is I don't have at this point here. Okay, this guy's already tight. So now we'll change the tape in the front and then hit pause. Pulls. Then we'll go from there. Try a new tape. Maybe angle the camera better. And then. And hit pulse. See how that works. Actually, it did go move to the left because I knew it. I kind of moved it. Let me make a quick adjustment and hit it again. Give me one second, okay? All I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna tie that hole that I opened up earlier to actually make it go to the left. 
Okay. Go ahead again. And you can see right now, it did go in the center. A little bit high, but it's not that bad. I can make a small adjustment from the top one. Just twist in it here. Should bring it down. And now, I know I'm almost in the center right now. Okay, let's move that tape around to show you guys. I don't have to touch anything in the back anymore. Okay, that is actually up high, but it is center. It's possible. Maybe I can go a little bit down. Show a pause again and see what I did in the back. Yep, I like this. Of course, catch some fire. That's the benefit, the bad benefit of using the tape again. So, for alignment, it's very good to figure out what did you do wrong and what were you and where you end up did it. Okay, so let's hit again. I think this time I got it right. Yep, center, perfect. Can you see it? So let me show you what I did. Basically because it was, like I said earlier, because it was up, okay, so I just push this guy, twist it just a hair, go in this direction, and I made it worse, it went this direction, so I backed this guy up, and I actually losing this guy just a hair, because when I was tying this, this bolt, not over here, I over tied the bolt. That's very important to make sure you hold the bolt while you're tying the nut so the bolt you can feel it if it tie up. So that's why I figured out. So now I went back and just untie that bolt. I tie both these nuts right now. This guy didn't, we didn't touch and we're good. Now we're gonna move to the next one. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna just come in and do this guy. So I'm gonna move this laser all the way to the end. Okay, basically I'm gonna go all the way to this end here by jogging it from the controller all the way and then I'm gonna put a tape actually over here in our line so the laser will come this way from here to here is good okay. from the tube to that to from the tube to that lens was good meter sorry from that meter to this meter is good right now now we're gonna go from this meter to this meter and if we need adjustment on this meter, we're going to adjust it here. Then we're going to do the additional that nobody almost does. is basically this guy here to this guy. And then this guy to the bottom. And I will show you what I mean. Just bear with me, okay? So, now set, that, set this guy up. Let me remove that tape from the first one. The second one we did. So you can see. I'm not sure what that is. Basically, it was center. I'm not sure you can see the shadow. I can see it, and but probably with the camera, you cannot. I'm gonna use a different tape. A new tape for this guy here. Okay. And I am seriously using safety glasses. Do not do this without laser safety glasses. Here's my laser safety glasses. They are rated to 1,000, sorry, 10,600. These are the rating of this CO2 laser. So I am wearing safety glasses. Do not do this anything, especially I'm telling you I'm bypassing the door because I am using safety glasses. And do not put your hand between the laser. Don't ever do that, okay? Just because you don't see that beam, trust me, you will get burned. It's not fun, okay? So we'll do this, and now we'll show a pause, bypassing the sensor again, of course, and short pause. So you can see, I am actually, uh, see, perfectly center on this guy, okay? Which is, I, of course, I didn't touch, I didn't move a lot of movement here, you can see, and there, I was kind of twisting it, but here, I'm actually good, I'm center. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna test something else. Okay, we're gonna go this direction 
and I'm gonna bring the laser to the mural somewhere back up my camera what I'm about to do for you guys I'm gonna do a couple more tests okay now we know this guy is good this eye here this center we're gonna check this guy to this guy okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna see it was center we're gonna open this lens I'm gonna open it clean the lens at the same time and check the actual uh, the circle okay and we can do it from here too I can put this laser over here and just shoot a pulse and it will burn but at the same time I want to see the alignment okay and I'll show you what I'm doing what I mean with the alignment of this guy here plus I'm gonna clean the lens so to clean the lens what we need to do so now we're gonna turn out the laser just the laser not the machine because my hand is gonna be by the lens and stuff like this when I'm cleaning I don't want to accidentally something get hit remove this guy so what we need we're gonna remove this air assist for example if I twist it you'll see it we're gonna remove the holes by pushing down and pulling the holes up pushing down and pulling the holes okay you can see the air it's there and then we're gonna of course lift this there is an red dot sensor we're gonna lift her up lift that red dot sensor up okay then actually we're gonna take this guy and twist it down so I can open the sensor because if I don't twist it down because of the red dot and if I try to open it if I try to open it sorry guys uh, somebody was calling me if I try to open it second it will hit that laser if I don't move that red laser up and if I don't twist this guy if I don't twist this guy down if it's up it will hit the laser so I twist it down remove it the lens is very clean okay I will clean it I'll show you how you guys clean it too but before we do that I'm gonna put a tape in here in the bottom of this and we're gonna shoot a pulse okay Make sure you turn the laser on, of course, before you show those. You can see it fire up. I'm just gonna squeeze more. I'm gonna pull this guy, and I'm actually not center as I should be. Okay, so I can see I'm not that center. I'm gonna put a new tape. And this time I'm gonna mark the tape a different way. I just wanted to see, now I gotta have make sure 100% where and how to move this guy. Okay, so put new tape. This time I'm gonna try to put the tape and align it this direction so when I remove the tape, I know where the direction to go to. So I'm gonna align it something like this, much as possible. I wanna do it this way. At least I try to get this line straight, at least one direction. So when I shoot pause, if the burn is this direction, I know I gotta go that way. If it's this direction, I know I gotta go that way. Okay, so we'll see. Touch it good here at the bottom just to leave us some marking. And then we're gonna shoot pause. Pulse. Keep saying pause. Okay, remove it. And I actually, if it was like this, I gotta go a little bit hair down. So to go down, okay, I gotta do the light, I gotta go this direction. I gotta go this direction with the lens. So this guy here, I can open up a hair maybe, travel, and see what's gonna happen. Okay, these guys are a little bit tricky too. So let's see how we're gonna open this guy. Because they're tricky because there is this spring lower it pins too so let's open this guy first and try to get it twisted at the same time so these are the actual lens you can see 
it moves because of the spring loaded but what I'm trying to do I'm trying to open this guy a little bit if I can open it just by holding my hand and twisting this guy yep I got it open let me you put that paper back in there the tape Let's see if that made a change squeeze the bottom to leave marking and we're gonna show a pulse take it uh, actually one layer a bit okay so I went this direction I need to go a little bit more to bring this guy this direction so, I went a little bit over just to see what happened all right do that and actually I am sinner look like Lucky. We'll use the same tape, but this time we'll use it here. Holes. Um, we're actually almost center. I think I'm satisfied with this. We're almost to the center. This guy here right now. I'm just gonna tie this guy up a little bit, maybe. If it got loose, this bolt here. It's not, it is. Yeah, I thought I can. That's it. So now we should be good. Now we're gonna clean the lens. Okay? We'll take this rug here, this fiber rug, put it here. This is only for cleaning the lens. When you open the lens, there is actually your aluminum like a nut you're gonna open this guy okay put it down there is a rubber piece white one and there's the lens okay now always the lens the way the lens is this is the lens there is an actual hub okay always stays up the flat stays in the bottom okay the flat in the bottom the hub is in the top that's how you focus so we're gonna put this guy here we're gonna get one of our lens cleaner wipe. We're gonna go to town. Clean. It's not that dirty, but minus well, we're doing the job. Do it right. And do it one time. So when I'm cleaning this, I make sure I look it up. Wipe your gloves too at the same time. You are touching stuff. Then pick it up and give just a little look on the lens. It's already dried up. It's clean, no fingerprints on it. What I like to do, I'm gonna just put it down for a minute. I like to clean this guy too inside. Just clean it inside too, just to make sure there's no dirt. Sometimes a lot of dirt that does collect because of the air assist. Okay, and especially if you're doing a lot of wood. So I like to give it a rub, over clean everything. Okay, I'll push the napkin inside the wipe basically, and just keep twisting. That's all I do. Okay, and until pull it out, and you're gonna see a little bit of dirt. I usually keep them clean all the time. A little bit of an edge in here, over here, and clean this guy. So we're gonna now take the lens, trying to pick up the lens from the side not touching place the lens first flat head down put that plastic white plastic this basically is an insulator that way so when I start tying this up I will not scratch the lens that's what I use that for okay because you're turning this okay now we're gonna do this okay now we're gonna go back and install tying it back up Sorry guys, I'm trying to tie it while I'm... I like to go backward a little bit first, then tie it, but I was just overdoing it. I was losing it for no reason. 
But now I have to tie it, hold the top one, and hold the bottom and give it a little tie. Then, of course, you're going to lift this guy up, hook up your air assist. Then we're going to adjust this guy going in this direction, of course. Then we will adjust our laser. I'll put a piece of wood and adjust the laser. I do have a video how to adjust this laser. But then we're going to do another shot in here all the way to the bottom to see how center or actually this is it affecting the movement of this guy maybe because after I put the cover because the hole in the cover is too small maybe I'm hitting in the corner of the cover so let's get a pause 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 come on man okay we got a pause and and if you can see what I can see is center dead center okay so this is actually very good so we got a center there again or center there to this laser to this guy this guy to this guy this guy to this guy then this guy we adjust to get this guy center okay just because it's a center like you see it was center but this tube here it needed adjustment so I adjust it from here I will actually do a little test for you guys just to show you I, I want to test it right now I'm kind of curious to see the power I'm gonna use because better meter better alignment so I usually cut woods uh, at, this is a 5.25 millimeter wood I had it all the way very aligned to 45% power this is a 50 watt laser machine to actually uh, 9 millimeter per second I'm gonna align this guy. There's a little trick I learned from a guy uh, on my comment that he told me because I was complaining about this guy is annoying. I'm not sure the user name, but I thank him very much. What he said actually, open the door, pass door, and take the belt. Now I don't recommend this to nobody. I don't want you guys to ruin your belt. You do this on your own risk, okay? But he told me just take the belt and just push it to the one side. You can see the bed goes up faster. Okay, let's just sort of me sitting down and doing this all day. Just one hit, the bed went up. Okay, so I appreciate your comment. That's the good thing about people leaving comments and you know helping each other. I appreciate. It. That's why I do my video for you guys to make sure if you guys need any questions or something, you guys can answer your own. You know, just by looking at my videos. I hope you like everything I do, and let's go from there. Now I use the finger just to adjust it. This is my set height for this actual lens. So now it's set. So we're gonna go back to light burn. And I'm gonna open up light burn and show you guys okay what we're gonna do. So open up light burn. I'm gonna, I selected the red. I'm gonna make a small circle. Just a small circle and see how that gonna cut. Uh, you can see my speed right now is nine millimeter per second at 45. I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna go to 30 just to see for the hell of it. See what's that gonna happen. Okay, so to 30 power and nine millimeter per second. After changing the actual meter with the gold copper meter and adjusted my lens. So here is 30, nine millimeter. I'm just gonna show you guys actually if we can cut, I hope we can. Of course, if not, I'll do some more testing. But let's see. I'm just gonna put that guy over here like this. And block the sensor so I can send the machine and click play. Current position and then we'll look. I didn't have it 100% set up right, but let's see. Moment of truth. Oh, it did. Wow. So I actually improved. Okay. Let's do another cut. A 30%. 30% power, 9 millimeter per second. Okay.
Oop. Cut it smoothly. Maybe I can reduce my power more, but at this point I will do a different test on piece of wood and see how much I improve. So far I did improve 13, um, I might say 45 inches, like 15% improvement on this piece of particular wood. Just by doing by changing the mirrors and doing a nice alignment. Okay. I hope you guys like this video. I apologize it took so long, but I was trying to explain to you guys as much as I, I can on stuff. Um, I like them so far. They look good. I can see my power got improved. I was never be able to do that before. Anyway, I did work a lot to get that power adjusted like that before too, because I was doing at one point 90% power to cut the five millimeter, because I was doing different stuff and testing. So again. I hope you like this video please leave a like in the bottom leave a comment I uh, hope you learned something today and have a wonderful day